Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. So how do you feel about games about farming? Ones with area controls? Or ones that are just ridiculously, ridiculously good looking, but with a twist? Well if so, then here's five things I think you'll need to know about. Silk. Silk, published by Devere Games, is a game for four players in which you take on the role as a silk farmer. And sure, it's a lonely life with just you and your dog, but it's up to you to get your charges to fresh pastures, protect them from their predator, the Okami, and generally help them to thrive. The winner is the person with the most silk points at the end of the game. Mechanically, this game is all about area control. You're going to want to get silk points to help you win the game, and the majority of these come from harvesting on the tiles on the board. The number of points you get, however, is determined by the type of tile you use. So you're going to want to move your silkworms around the board for these optimum yields. Now, the fun part is, is that you don't get to pick up your silkworms and move them. No, no, you have to shepherd them with your shepherd and your mastiff token. And so you have to funnel them into optimum locations. At the start of a turn, you'll roll two dice and you'll perform actions based on what numbers you roll from a whole series of actions. Um, these numbers are alterable by spending silk points, so that's kind of helpful. Um, and the kind of things you do on a turn are you can place out an extra silkworm, that's always good. You can move your mastiff or your shepherd to help move your silkworms, good again. You can build a fence, which helps keep out the natural predator of the silkworm, the okami, and also to keep out rival farmers from shuffling their silkworms in on top of yours. Um, the next thing you can do is you can build a nursery, and that allows you to place your silkworms close to a specific location. Um, so that's good for helping group them together. And that also allows you to repair any tiles that you used for farming in the first place. It's pretty positive. Um, the fifth action allows you to basically gain your silk points from the zone that you've just selected. And the final action, which is number six, allows you to move the Okami. Um, so you can see here that this is kind of a game of area control where everybody's very much on top of each other and involved in each other's actions. Similar games to Silk. Well, it's a very unique take on area control. One in which you're very on top of each other, but also don't have a lot of say in your movement. Rather, you have to shepherd things around in terms of the rules of the board instead of being able to go directly where you'd like to. And in that sense, it reminds me a little bit of Istanbul, where you can only move three tiles at a time and trying to sort out exactly where you want to end up and how you get there um, and it never being a straight journey kind of echoes Silk a little bit. Setup is quick and simple and if you'd like to see exactly what's in the box, you can go and check out my unboxing video. So it takes about 20 minutes for two of us to play and the rule book to be fair was really really good. Um, replayability wise, well the tiles that you set up um, are different each time you play but the goals that you can work towards are identical each time. The real longevity here comes from the battle of wits against your opponent. Aesthetics wise, the box art of this game is incredibly appealing. I've heard it compared to Studio Ghibli kind of feeling and you know what, it's not entirely wrong either. As a whole, this game feels kind of very quaint um, and very chill. Um, and the components that are in the game are also really, really lovely. And there's quite a variety in the types of components you get. So you'll have your own shepherd token, a mastiff token, all your little silkworm tokens. And that just really adds to the kind of the fun and the chill vibe here, despite it, its capacity for being a relatively ruthless game. So what's so special about Silk? I think it has to be the way it ties theme and mechanics together. Like this is already an unusual take on area control where you don't get to directly control your pieces, but rather you have to shepherd them around the board much like a shepherd would to their flock. And I think that makes it really stand out. So how do I really feel about Silk? Firstly, the negative. My main gripe is actually with these bonus cards that you can score during the game. So these are things like, you know, the first person to put all of their silkworms onto the board gets 10 points. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. And on the one hand, I like them, but on the other hand, I find them a little bit imbalanced. Um, and of course, then this problem is compounded by the fact that they don't change between games, that they're like a, you know, a steadfast feature of how you play. The positives. Silk is a really light and fun game, and it's one that I think that's easy to learn and easy to teach too. But not only that, it does present you with a really interesting problem. And it's a problem that gets more difficult the more people you play with. 
Secondly, the theme for this game is really, really unusual. Like, when's the last time you heard about a game about silkworm farmers? I know I haven't. And to top all of that off, it's beautiful, it's engaging, and it's the kind of game that people are going to want to play with you. Do I think you should have silk in your collection? Well, Silk has been on my radar since Essen last year, and I'm super excited I finally got to play it and try it out. So I think if you're looking for something that's cute, that's tactical, and that doesn't take too long to play, then you should probably round up a copy. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. For more authentic board game reviews, why not subscribe to the channel for updates? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Silk, why not leave them in the comment box below? I'd really like to hear from you. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care, everybody.